so here let's see an example of the MLP model. So here we are going to uh, bring two inputs, so the house being built and also the price of the house um, to predict the house type. So in this case, in the input um, layer, we will have three uh, units. Uh, so the input, price, and also we always have buyers. So we will have those three units in the input layer. And as I said, you can define how many layers you want for the hidden layer. And you can also define that how many units you want uh, in this uh, hidden layer. So here we have uh, 20 hidden layers um, and also plus uh, buyers. And also for the second hidden layer, we also have 20 units and also plus uh, buyers. For the output layer, so, um, so there we have four units. So because uh, in our data set, there are four types of the houses. So it will be a single fan home, townhouse, condo, and also land allowed. So the four units will correspond to the probability of that house um, being each type of those uh, house types. So the probability of being a single fan home, townhouse, condo, land allowed, etc. And some parameters you can change, like for example, the number of the layers, okay? And also within each layer, so the number of the unit or the number of the neurons, okay? And also, of course, there are other type of the uh, parameters you can change, uh, you can select for the neural network. So let's see a quick demo that in the uh, right, right minor. So, Let's open Rocket Miner and let's create a new folder. So let's call it um, Lecture 9. And to save the time, I'm just using, we'll use uh, the data set that we use for Lab 8, so which is house price label. And I'm going to paste the data set in, into Lab 9. Uh, I'm going to bring that one <coughs> to, our, to this new process. Uh, so this process contains multiple um, columns. So let's just select the columns that we want to use. So we want to use the year the house being built, the house type, and also the price of the house. And the next, let's set the house type as the target. So uh, let's choose the house type as the label. And now let's look at the data. So we have house type, and there are four types of house, land lot, uh, townhouse, condo, and a single family home. And we, have, we also have the house, the year house being built, and also price of the house. Okay, so house type is our target. So now let's build a neural network. So to be more specific, we are going to build an MLP model. So if we have neural network, so we can bring the neural net, which is an MLP model, okay? So here you can say you can define the training circles, so how many iterations you want, uh, learning rate, uh, momentum, and also error, uh, is no, I'm not sure, okay? Uh, so those are, uh, so, and you can check those uh, training circles, learning rate, etc. And the most important uh, parameter is hidden layers. So if we click here, we can see by default, we already have one hidden layer. So you can give the name, let's say called H1. The hidden layer size, so that means how many uh, units you want. So here, let's say we just want one layer. And for that layer, we want 20 units. Okay. And let's apply the model to the data set. And let's also calculate the performance. Okay, so it is for classification. So uh, the performance, let's report the performance as well. So let's report accuracy and also the kappa. Okay, uh, so let's run it. And you can see the performance accuracy is uh, 78, the kappa is 0 0.1. So uh, the performance is, is very terrible. Uh, let's look at the data, so the model. So now you can see here, we do have two um, input, so price and also the year that has been built. And this 
is the bias. So in rapid mind, it called the threshold node, and we have those uh, hidden layers. One hidden layer which has uh, twenty unit plus one bias, and you can see for each layer it contains a weight. Okay, so weight uh, corresponding to the three um, inputs. Okay, and the weight corresponding to the three inputs. And for the output layers, we do have uh, one, two, three, four, four units. So that is, is corresponding to each single host type. And for that um, unit, it contains a weight for the corresponding uh, 20 units plus one threshold. Okay. So each unit is a list of the weight. And each layer is a list of the units. Uh, and a neural network is just a list of the multi layers. Okay. And if we check the description, we can see that uh, for each single node, that the nonlinear function is used is a uh, is a sigmoid function. So that the nonlinear function that we used. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to the design view. So let's say that we want to make this one to be a little bit more powerful. So let's add our second hidden layer. So let's choose that one to be 20. And let's run it. Uh, now you can see the kappa actually dropped. Okay, so that's very interesting. Kappa dropped a little bit. Uh, if now we look at the network, you can see now we have two hidden layers. And uh, each layer also has 20 units. Okay, so selecting the right or the best parameters uh, for the neural network is actually a kind of art because there are so many parameters you can select um, and also there are so many options that you can choose so for example you can choose different number of layers and you can choose different number of the units and the performance will be slight will be different okay and let's talk about uh, deep learning so deep learning is actually one specific type of the neural network. So uh, you may saw this um, graph a lot. So that is machine learning, and that is a neural network, and this is a deep learning. Okay, so deep learning is one type of the neural network, which is the one type of the machine learning models. Uh, so deep learning is one type of the artificial neural network where with multiple layers between the input and also output layers. So basically deep learning means that you need a deep neural network. Okay, you need deep neural network. So what is the definition of deep neural network? So that means uh, as long as you have more than one hidden layer that is considered a deep neural network. While in reality the deep neural network will be far away complicated, but theoretically, as long as you have more than one hidden layer, that is considered a deep neural network. So deep learning using deep neural network and also plus the other kind of the deep models. Okay, uh, So it, it will be more complicated. Um, we are not going to details about the deep learning. But deep learning has been successfully used in many areas, like especially like for image processing. Um, deep learning can successfully compare like different facials, facial recognitions, uh, sentimentals, etc. So other than the Python library, um, so there are other Python libraries that for neural network and for deep learning. So those are some one that you may have heard a lot, so like, expect like tens TensorFlow is a framework uh, on Python that is uh, for the deep learning. Okay, so let's summarize the neural network. So neural network can capture information contained in large amount of data set, and we can also build a very complicated models, so that al always beat the other algorithms. So and that said, neural network and also tree-based models uh, right now are the two types of the most powerful machine learning models. However, neural network may take a very long time to train. So because you know the 
we have we probably have thousands of uh, neurons in the network, so that will take a very long time to train the model. It requires careful pre-processing the data. For example, you have to scale your data before the training. Uh, so in right manner, when you train the models, so by default, they will scale the data first. And also, if the data have different kind of the features, for example, if you have sparser data, uh, not sparse data, so for example, if you have temporal information, uh, texture information, and integers, etc. So in that case, a tree-based model might work better. Okay. So if the data type are different, if you have so many different types of kind of features. And also, uh, optimize the uh, tuning neural network parameters uh, is also an art, okay, it's also art, because there are so many um, possibilities, so you don't know what is the right number of hidden layers, so for example, in our demo, we increase the number of the hidden layers, um, the performance actually dropped, okay, you don't know what is the, the right number of neurons, and you can choose different nonlinear functions, you can also normalize uh, your neural network, and and you can define the learning rate, number of iterations, etc., etc. So, uh, optimize the parameters is also very important. 